cardboard boxes, made templates, traced them, and used a box cutter to cut them out. The birds and chain came from Amazon. A friend collected the pine cones from her yard for me. I printed the clock faces that I found on the internet. I used school glue and brown cardboard tape to attach the pieces to increase stability. For decorations, just about anything is possible. I marked the scoring lines ahead. Be careful when scoring not to cut all the way through, only on one side. On all the scoring lines that you do, fold it back. Affix the small flap to the inside of the back piece. I used both glue and tape. Before enclosing the entire clock, be sure to feed the chain through the holes on the bottom so that the ends hang out. The bird has wires attached to the feet. A piece of tape on the inside of the front is enough to secure the bird into place. Also, be sure to do this before attaching the sides. There are two side pieces that need four score lines per piece. Again, be sure not to cut all the way through. Fold all four flaps in on the side pieces. Affix the flaps on the side pieces to the insides of the front, bottom, and back pieces. Again, score on only one side of each of the roof pieces. The roof flaps are affixed to the inside of the back. There will be hangover on the front and sides. Glue the chain to the top of the pine cone. Hot glue may work best for this part. You might also want to wait to attach the pine cones to the very last thing. Cut out and glue on your clock face. For extra stability and a cleaner look, tape all of the seams together. I also taped all of the edges for a cleaner look. Once all the parts have been assembled, have fun making it pretty. Again, you might want to wait until the very last thing to attach the pine cones. To go the extra mile, you could add a pendulum, you could find cheap clockworks or take them from an old clock and repurpose them. Use the hole on the back to hang it on the wall and enjoy.